and in a different way. Ko Gongwei has been continuously fed into apron feeder through loading machine. Firstly, dispersed these Ko Gongwei and transported them to the jaw crusher for coarse crushing. Secondly, carry the coarse material into crushing hammer for pulverizing. Thirdly, put fine crushed Ko Gongwei into the enclosed rotary screen for screening. Those materials which meet the particular size requirement would be directly loaded to conveyor for the next process. Unqualified coarse material will be returned to crushing hammer or further crushing. Compared with coal gongway, clay is relatively easy to prepare. Belt feeder continuously and evenly send clay into roller crusher. Then fine crushed clay will be put into conveyor to mix with fine crushed coal gongway. Two different materials are mixed together in certain ratio and carried by conveyor to two axis mixer. Certain amount of water will be added into mixture, then the whole lot of material will be blended and mixed in mixer. After that, great ability conveyor carries mixture to maturing room. Then, reversing placing boom will distribute the mixture to each place of maturing room evenly according to using consequence of next procedure. After 72 hours maturing at least, the mixture can be dug up layer by layer by bucket conveyor. The conveyor carries the mixture to forming workshops for next procedure. Intermittent box feeder intermittently feeds the mixture into refining roller crusher to achieve finer texture. After refinement, add more water to the mixture, then blending, squeezing and rubbing by powerful blending and extruding machine. Finally, the mixture will be sent into hard shaping vacuum extruder for brick blank making. Hard shaping vacuum extruder consists of top and bottom stages. After blending by the top part of machine, the mixture is sent into vacuum chamber for vacuuming up. At the bottom stage, powered by helical reamer, the mixture is shaped as long strips by mold at extruder outlet. These long strips will be cut into pieces by automatic cutting machine. Offcuts and wastes will be recycled to the massing machine for after treatment. Four different requirement of brick setting, brick piling, turning and grouping should be taken. Automatic setting machine will clamp brick blanks and load them to kiln cars. Kiln cars run at cool dry cycle track to make the water evaporate from bricks and harden them. After that, bricks need to be setting again. Then kiln cars will be pushed to assembled type drying chamber by hydraulic kiln car pusher for removing humidity and drying. After well drying, kiln cars will be dragged to entrance of assembled type tunnel kiln by tractor. Then hydraulic kiln car pusher pushes kiln cars to kiln. After 40 hours preheat, sintering and cool down, finally comes out the finished bricks. Assembled type drying chamber and tunnel kiln are configured with automatic temperature test and central control system. The temperature curve at top and bottom of kiln cars and furnace gas pressure curve can be shown on computer screen immediately and temperature can be controlled by adjusting working frequency of three high power blowers as needed. Finished bricks are transported to automatic dispatching machine by return tractors. Dispatching machine lift up whole patch of bricks and dispatch them on the tray of the chain scraper conveyor. Then bricks will be carried by forklift to finished goods yard. The production line will repeat whole production procedures according to production order.
quality.